most of us fail to realize that before the advent of football, boxing and the like, there have been several indigenous sports among Africans dating back to centuries. Some of these sports are fun to watch, while some are straight laid for their brave heart. Here are six intriguing sports from Africa you have never seen before. Afro. Number 6. Savika This is just sport on a whole new level. Tavika used to be a rite of passage among the Betilio community of Madagascar, but now it's considered mostly a sport. Bull is released from its cage and players try to mount it and hang on it for as long as possible. Since bulls are considered sacred among the Malagasy, they are surprisingly well treated. Once in the arena, the Miss Avika, who is the hero of the show, begins to excite the beast to the point of driving it mad. To protect himself, he has only his bare hands, his skills and the cries of joys of the audience. The duel ends only when the beast is exhausted or when the man is seriously injured. Noah was actually giving at the end of the day just a crazy lot of respect. <laughs> Number 5. La Am What if I told you football is in the most popular sport in Senegal? This is a deceptively simple but yet difficult contest between two men dressed in loin clothes and decked in many talismans. Whoever puts his opponent on the ground, whether on his back or stomach, is the winner. La Am is a folk wrestling traditionally performed by the Serer people, but now a national sport in Senegal. Number 4. Ngolo and Capoeira In Angola, we feel that Capoeira belongs to us in some way. For example, there's a style of Capoeira called Capoeira Angola, and our country is Angola. And there's another type called Capoeira Bengala, and there's a province here called Bengala. The Ngolo is the root of Capoeira, the popular dance in Brazil. Angolan slaves who went into Brazil through Port Benguela took with them the tradition of fighting with their fate. Over time, that which was basically a tribal tradition was transformed into a weapon of attack and defense disguised as a dance. It helped the slaves to escape and establish free communities for themselves. Back in Angola, Ngolo is a big deal, especially for boys who are ready to marry. Boys who win the Angola tournament are allowed to choose a wife among beautiful girls without having to pay a single dowry. Now this is a place men would love to be. Number 3. Dambi Boxing Dambe is a brutal traditional style of combat associated with the Hausa people, one of the largest ethnic groups in Africa. It may be steeped in tradition, with its origins said to date back to the 10th century. The goal of Dambe, which is a Nigerian sport, is to for your opponent by knocking them to the floor. This can be achieved with either a kick or a punch. With fights lasting a maximum of three rounds, the fight only comes to an end when an opponent or an official calls for a stop or the opponent is that is, should any part of his body hit the ground. The fighters bind their punch in hand with a rope to make it as hard as possible. This is their primary weapon. The weaker hand is then used as a shield. I don't know about you, but this is nothing I would ever want to try. Number 2. Nguni This martial art form is popular among the Zulu Nguni herders in South Africa and is strongly rooted in their history. It is a stick fight that can last up to 5 hours where opponents take turns at playing offense and defense, scoring points based on which part of the body is struck. It is a bloody sport and sometimes opponents do but it is to practice today despite all criticism. According to the Zulu, this encourages cultural expression and requires skill, discipline and a firm physique. It is being banned in parts of South Africa, but you can still find it in certain parts of the country if you know where to look. Number 1. Donkey Racing Donkeys might be known for doing all the donkey work, but in Kenya they mostly replace horses.
This is a popular sporting event that happens in Kenyan coastal town of Lamu. Donkeys to Lamu are a must. They must be protected, they must be looked after. Without donkeys, there's no life. The Swahili people of Lamu have a particular advantage as they use donkeys every day, making the race quite competitive. Since I bought this donkey for racing, he has been unbeaten. The sport is played by a rider who hops on the back of a donkey and nudges it to the finish line as fast as he can. As these animals are domesticated and used primarily as means of transportation, they have been adequately adapted for this African sport. Now, which of these sports is the most intriguing to you? Leave us a comment down there. Do share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host, Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.